Hello. I want to spend a minute or a few minutes and talk about emergence or emerging characteristics of systems. When the concept of system was presented, we talked about the idea that the, the system is in fact the the result maintains its existence as the result of a mutual interaction between the parts of the system itself. And and from that interaction there arise characteristics that are not part of that are that can't be found in any of the individual parts of the system itself. And it, it is in fact those characteristics. It's that, that ability of something to arise from that interaction. We we refer to those as it's a property of emergence and we call them emergent characteristics. I know that, f remember from watching some of Russell Eckhoff's videos, he commented that that the nature of a system is not the sum of its parts, but the product of their interactions. So, and it's, it's a fundamental aspect that we need to know about and remember when we think about systems, because it is in fact that the way that that something emerges from that interaction that that gives us a, a nature of the system and oftentimes it provides a, a pattern of behavior that that we in fact need to realize and, and deal with I, I said that it uh, it presents a, a set of characteristics one or more characteristics that aren't can't be found in the parts it may that emergent characteristic may actually simply be an emergent behavior over time. So, and and sometimes, you know, I, t I talked about a car having the potential to move some, to move someone from point A to point B. It's a characteristic that arises from the interaction of all of the parts. Though, as the car sits there, that's simply a potential capability. It's not until that there's there's actually an individual in the car that it actually moves from point A to point B, unless you're talking about auto-driven cars these days. And the and the, the interaction of the the parts within a clock enable it to tell time. The interaction of hydrogen and oxygen the way that they interact to form a molecule and many of those molecules together which which creates a characteristic uh, referred to as wetness so so those are the kind of characteristics that arise from that set of interactions the other type of characteristic is behavior over time in that that the nature of those interactions doesn't create something that's static. It does, in fact, create something that has an associated pattern that that changes over time, and it's that change over time that often creates situations that we, in fact, decide that that we need to do something about the the structure that's that's responsible for those those characteristics, but there. So we refer to that as a behavior over time, and there are some recurring patterns that happen on a on a recurring basis. In that, the the part that I talked about here before, where this this is a set of interactions where the difference between the desired water level and the current water level creates a perceived gap in my mind, causing me to change the faucet position causing the water to flow, which changes the current water level, moving it toward the desired water level. And and once the current water level reaches the desired water level, this perceived, perceived gap becomes zero, inducing me to make sure that the faucet position is closed and there is no more water flow. This is a, a system that promotes something called balance. And that... Uh, is the characteristic evolving pattern for something that's called goal seeking. It it seems to change rapidly initially, but then begins to slow down as it gets closer and closer to the goal. And and we'll talk about the structures that produce these in, in another video. But a goal seeking pattern is is one 
that one sees very often. Another is an exponential growth curve where over time as something begins to grow more and more in, in what's referred to as an exponential fashion or a situation where something begins to change in what looks like an exponential growth pattern but then it in fact levels off and looks more like a goal-seeking pattern after time and a situation where something simply oscillates over time back and forth. So, so those are a couple of recurring patterns that are in fact emergent characteristics of of a structure. So the, the, the intent here was simply to, to indicate that, that systems have emergent characteristics that, that are the result of, of the interactions in the system. And, and they might be potential characteristics or, or what the nature of the system itself, and they may be experienced as discernible behavior patterns over time that give us a sense of, of what the system is doing. So I hope this has been helpful. See you in the next video.